Hey, it's the Angry Fish Guy here. Video update. We'll talk about some other things. No editing. You get it raw. Alright, well, I'll talk about some fish updates and then uh, we'll go with mess around with other. Well, we're in this tank over here. I got some long, thin, super fancy ancestors action. They're awesome. Also in that tank over here, I got some of those green antlers from LR Bretts. Hell yeah, them things are awesome. So, not that he'll ever watch my channel because he's super popular. But, uh, yeah, them are looking pretty cool. And the other tank over, right over the channel, is some uh, just regular old uh, common antlers and uh, some common bristle nose that I'll be trading off at. Uh, Keeps Shut up up there! I'll be trading off at the Auburn Swap here in, uh, in Washington State. And below, I, there's a light ain't on yet, but uh, that was my experiment of trying to get long, thin, common bristle nose. I've tried to mix breed them. I don't think that fit, that worked very good. So I tried a long, thin male with a common female and I think I need a long thin female with a common male to try and get a common breed action of the long thin. That's my uh, goings on over here and uh, how I've been doing my water changes nowadays thanks to Rachel O'Leary for the idea that I uh, made this little hoobie doobie rat show preset depth in the tank that sucks it all right down and I put it in a 30 gallon tank I drain all the tanks into there and then I use a this is the Eco 1056 off the Amazon link not in the description because I don't give shit anyway that hose goes outside and then uh, I'll show you where I pump the other water in so I'll give you a rundown over here. Give you a look at the tanks, not that you give two shits. But uh, those are the lime green endlers right here, the females. Looks like they're about ready to spit. There comes a male right there. Look at that lime green endler. Yeah, he's looking awesome. Okay, looks like my other tank light finally came on on my planted tank over there. That's where I make all my extra monies for selling some plants. Okay, and then that's the, oh! I got a new selfie stick today, so I'm figuring that out. Anyway, I'll give you a rundown here. Last time you probably seen here, there was a 180 gallon tank right here. Well, whew, that went away because it was about 12 years old and I didn't want a 180 gallon mess in the freaking the floor over here, so I sold that on to a friend of mine he's gonna reseal it with that money I bought this setup all the fish that are in the 180 there I plopped in here and they're living a pretty good life with some some serious room action okay and you can see how I plumb that it's a Rubbermaid 300 gallon right into the FX6 which Usually I don't like canister filters, but that's doing a really good job, and I'm actually enjoying that. With the heat controller, I got two, two 300 watts in there, and uh, that heater controller is the shit. And then over here, I got two 55-gallon drums that I keep my water in, so I don't have to heat my water going in my tanks. I do, when I do water changes, them, I use that same pump. Bloop. it's room temperature so it works out fine I'm not like I'm running discus and need it at 80 degrees or some shit but it works really good and then uh, come back over here this is what I use to test my water not that you need to know this but so you can see that's 73 so it's only a 10 degree difference and uh endlers and placos and convicts and shit like that don't give a shit about 10 degree difference on their water changes and that tank over there it's uh cherry barbs and some more endlers so they don't really give a shit about 
10 degrees of water change difference. You're like, holy crap, this is a long video for the angry fish guy. It's because I'm angry. Let's see. Uh, pump talk about that. Oh, and a shout out to those uh, poor submariners there in uh, Argentina. Hopefully they can find those shipmates alive. Because uh, spending 20 years on a submarine, I know how they feel. That's uh, some scary ass shit. Uh, talk about the aquatic experience. I know I should probably have my script up here like all the professionals, but you get it raw. Right now. Anyway, uh, the quad experience is going to be in New Jersey. That cancels me out because that means I'd have to fly across the United States. And I hate flying unless I'm like like six beers in and have some volume and shit. And you're like, Greg, you're a submariner. Why are you afraid to fly him? Well, when you're a thousand feet below the water, you have 150 other brothers you trust to save your ass if the shit hits the fan when you're flying in a tube all you got is some drunken coked out some bitch in the front that doesn't know what the fuck you're doing and then it crashes into the ground and y'all die so yeah the odds are you're probably going to survive because uh, the pilots are well trained professionals but how many stories have you heard about some coked up fucking drunk ass pilot uh huh that's what I thought so, yeah, I don't like flying. Let's see. My free t-shirt, can you see it? Bam! I hope it's not backwards for you, because it looks backwards on my fucking screen. Anyway, if you go to the Coop, the Coop, the Coryville, the Fish Fam, uh, if you order a t-shirt, he sends you a free Easy Green. And so, right now that's what it is and you just order one t-shirt and you put it in the comment section and uh, the Kua uh, website will send you a free bottle of Easy Green. Since I buy Easy Green anyway, I look at it as I got a free t-shirt. A uh, couple collabs, I've reached out to a couple people in Washington State. One of them's a pretty uh, famous live streamer up and coming that happens to work with the biggest YouTuber of the fish fan. I'm not going to drop any names, but kind of discounted me because I don't have three zillion fucking subscribers and I, I don't know, maybe because I cuss a lot, but that's who I am. I'm not going to fucking change who I am and if you don't dig it, whatever. I guess I won't be bringing anything to the table anyway because he's super smart or something. Who the fuck knows? Uh, let's see. I think that's about it up and chump. You have any questions, don't put it in the doobly doo because I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm just bullshit. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's it. Word.